The Mandale Group has built a series of successful residential and commercial developments across the north of England. It's recently won three UK property awards in two years and has sold out developments without even needing to open a sales office. But it's not so long since the credit crunch knocked the bottom out of Mandale's principal market. Everything just stopped. We realised that we as a company had to lift our game. We had to provide better quality products. So we went around the market, assessed what everybody was doing and thought, well, we've got to you know, be 25% better than them. We went out, we bought better products, we started adding more stuff into our properties. And what we found, the feedback that we got from the sites was when people were coming around and looking, they were reserving and buying our properties because the product was far superior to what everybody else was doing. The Mandel Group first made its name in the 80s and 90s with large-scale regeneration projects on derelict industrial sites. But what really got it noticed was the construction of Hartlepool Marina. This was a massive redevelopment, including a retail park, 26 commercial units, more than 400 flats and, of course, the marina itself, with berths for 600 boats. We redeveloped all this area here, created the esplanade with all the restaurants and the bars and the shops. It proves that we've got the experience and it proves that we've got the knowledge. It helped put Mandel on the map. Rather than taking on bank debt, the group has chosen to finance its developments by reinvesting its profits. This business park in Stockton, for instance, was funded from the sale of older sites a little further up the Tees. We created these six buildings, total of 90,000 square feet. But what we did was we lifted the quality of these buildings and what we found was it, it worked really well and they filled within months of the construction being completed. Anybody who wants to come and rent an office, we sit down with them with our architects, we design an office, we fit it out for them, so that when somebody moves in, they've got exactly what they want. We do it, we provide it for them and we make their life easier. One of the key factors that have enabled Mandale to flourish in uncertain times has been the diversity of its operations. It's been able to switch its focus between industrial and commercial developments, flats and houses. In recent years, it's placed the emphasis on new build housing schemes, like this one in South Yorkshire. There's no such thing as a typical Mandale development, but they do tend to be relatively small, generally fewer than 25 homes. That helps the group complete projects quickly and so get an earlier return on their investments. And it also makes it easier to give each customer a personal service. We don't have a standard house type and because we don't have that, we need to look at every single aspect of every single house we build before we even go on site. It's time consuming, but it gives us that little edge because we have paid that attention to that tiny detail. We give them the option to choose their internals from flooring, to kitchens, to bathroom tiling. It gives their house a personal touch. You know, it's their house, they chose it. We listen to the customers and what they want and we're looking at the houses constantly and as you know, fashions change and desires change so we try to keep up with the times. So I'd say we're more of a bespoke builder than a, a standard. Our aim is to be the best. So certainly what we put in our houses now as standard would be an optional extra in most of the builders. Yvonne Westbrook had been looking for a house for 18 months when she saw this one on the edge of Pontefract. The next day, she bought it. Love it. I love the clean lines to it. Beautiful fittings all the way through the house. The bathrooms are finished off lovely. It's nice and light and airy. It's just got everything that I wanted. Joe Darra puts much of Mandale's success down to their independence. Because they're not saddled with bank debt or obliged to refer every big decision to the board, they're able to act quickly and take risks. I'd say the secret is quick decision making and not being afraid to have a go at anything. Because we've come through such a bad recession and we have still progressed, we're quite confident in the future going forward that we are going to be very successful.